Here we go, my first out mission. Today, you're going to see what it's like to do my job because you're coming on one of my shifts. As a young person, I watched a lot of hospital TV. All I ever dreamed about was working in a busy emergency department. After a lot of studying and years of training, here I am at Homerton Hospital in East London, working as a doctor in the emergency department. Hey, Philippe! Bronx is part of a really busy medical team who see 120,000 patients a year. That's right, Chris. Let's see how it's looking today. Oh, it looks like the board's pretty busy. Better start my shift. See you later. First, I need to change into my normal uniform, or what we doctors call our scrubs. You're wearing green. That means you're in my team, Ronx. No, Zand. You know the colour of your scrubs is actually to show what job we do. In my hospital, as an emergency doctor, I have to wear green. Anyway, I've got patients to see. First up, poor old Blue has injured her thumb. Now, what happened, Blue? I was at school on the bars and then I swam really high and then I just fell on my finger. Oh, you can see that there's some bruising there. Can you bend them? I can bend this one. Oh, no worries. You may or may not have broken the bone in that thumb. I think you need an x ray. I never know which patients are going to come in. I don't know what conditions they'll have. I don't know what injuries they'll have. Every single day is different, and I love it. And that's the red phone. The red phone is the phone which the London Ambulance Service use to pre-prepare us about a patient that they're bringing in. The alarm has sounded to tell everyone there's an emergency case coming in. This is paediatric resuscitation. It's where we treat patients who are seriously ill or injured. I'm not part of this team today, but I do have an x-ray to look at. I'm going to look from top to bottom to see if Blue's got a fracture. The x-ray shows no obvious break, but smaller injuries are difficult to see on it. So I'll be getting Blue to come back in a few days so we can check how her thumb is getting on. But right now, there are more cases coming in. It's Darwin, who's bashed his chin. After I've checked, there are no signs of damage inside his head. That is a little bit tickly, sorry. I need to deal with that cut on his chin. It just requires cleaning and some glue, and then he can go back home. Get ready for a gross alert! He's been really brave. Darwin, give us a thumbs up. Fantastic. Can I get a high five? Boom. Great. Another happy customer. We have to document everything that we've said to a patient on the computer. That can take a while if you type as slowly as me. Once I've done that, I'm back on my feet before it's finally time to head back home. I've just worked a 10-hour busy shift. I've even walked 17,151 steps. But hey, it's a busy job, and I absolutely love working in the emergency department. Thanks for, for showing, showing us around, Bronx. Oh, that's nice, guys. 